Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Subbase plugin in Logic. This is a really useful plugin that you can use to either compensate for some low end that may not necessarily be there, so maybe on a kick that you just want to add a bit of thump and body to, or you can use it for a bass that already has a really nice low end, you just want to give it that really nice subby low end to it. So to find our Subbase plugin, we just go to our Audio Effects, down to Specialize, and then Subbase, and then bring up this window. Now what this plugin essentially does is that it generates low end harmonic frequencies to whatever's going into it. So in this case, just this MIDI bass, it'll create harmonics for mainly the low end for whatever's going in. So as you can see, we've got two sets of knobs along the top and bottom. So one set for the high end and one for the low, uh, and they all do the same as their counterparts. So I'll just explain one and it will work the same on the other, okay? So first we have the ratio. And this is used to adjust the ratio between the generated signal, so what our sub bass plugin is creating, and the original signal, so what's going into it. So if we have a one-to-one -one ratio, this will produce as many harmonics as there is signal going into it. Whereas if it's on a two-to-one, it'll be half as much, three-to-one, third, fourth, fifth, etc., etc., all the way up to eight, actually. Um, I tend to have the high end one on about two because I don't want that many harmonics coming through for the high end. I mainly want it on the low end, so I change that to a one. Next we have the center, and this is used to choose what frequencies you actually want to get the harmonics through of. So, as you can see, this is changing position as we're moving it. So again, it's a really useful feature of this plugin is that everything you do, you can see it change for whatever you do. And then lastly is the bandwidth, and that's to select how many frequencies you actually want to affect. So we can either have it nice and narrow, or really nice and wide. I tend to find uh, 0.26 to 0.43 a good range, and I have a wider one on the top and usually a narrower one on the bottom. Uh, next we have the frequency mix slider. This is used to adjust the mix ratio between the upper bands here and the lower ones. So at the moment it's on 57, so it's just over half. We're gonna get a bit more of the higher bands coming through than the lower but I tend to want more of the lower ones coming through because that's what I'm using it for. I want a nice big subby sound coming through, so I just drop it down a little bit below. And then lastly, we have the dry and wet sliders. And the dry slider is just the, how loud the original signal is. So if this is on 100, that's gonna be as loud as it is without it. And then the wet signal is how loud you want the harmonics to be that this is generating. So if I were to have this on zero, it won't be doing anything, it would just be essentially like this is in bypass and we'll be getting the original signal coming through. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna play the bass line that I've put in here. It's just a simple bass line I made on the ESM in Logic. So I can just show you what it sounds like without any of the harmonics here. And then we can mess about with the parameters to get it sounding how we want it to. And then we'll slowly bring in the wet signal, okay? So just got the frequency analyzer on, on our EQ so we can see what's going on a bit easier. Okay, so that was it without, and a lot of the main frequencies are about 55 to 60 over here, and we just want to bring in some of them below that, so I'm going to set it to about 50 to really bring out that super low end, and then we had some bits going on over here, just over 200, so that'll be our high end that we want to add more harmonics to as well, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually bring this all the way up to 500% and turn the dry off. So this is what is generating without any of our dry signal coming in. This is purely what the sub bass plugin is creating. Now if your headphones or speakers or earphones or whatever aren't that great, then they may not be able to replicate the low frequencies as well. So you may not actually even be able to hear that. But for those that can, you can hear that it's that really, really low end of it that we're getting through. And I'll just show you purely what the low end sounds like and then the high end. So it just sounds like a sub bass. Whereas that does just sound like the higher end of our MIDI bass here. So you'd want to find a decent blend of that. And then we start to bring in the dry signal and we'd also bring the wet right down because 500% is just a bit overkill. So we turn the dry back up and then we're going to try and find a nice blend between the wet signal basically. So it's kind of adding a bit of grit and a bit of body and sub just to that low end of it. 
This is a really useful tool that can be used in a variety of ways, as I said earlier, to either compensate for some lowing that isn't perhaps there, or just to bring out some more of that body on something that sounds great already. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.